Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Nuka World. Last time we started off exploring Kitty Kingdom, and we made our way through the Fun House, and we got a bit of a glimpse at a strange, charismatic ghoul in a top hat, who seems to want to keep us out while putting on a bit of a evil genius shtick of some description. So, today we need to keep tracking him down, and we've got to find the tunnels and the theatre next up. And then there's a few bits and pieces back in Nukatown, USA I want to go and check out. So let's start off making our move towards the big castle here and seeing what we can find. Oh, the jetpack certainly helps navigating around this area. There's the fun house. Now we can just jet up top to here. And a fever blossom. Okay, we got ourselves a new type of plant here. The fever blossom. Interesting. More flipping legendaries showing up, which is always welcome. Hunter's Railway. That's actually a fun weapon. Hunter's is situationally very, very useful. And Railway is a fun weapon indeed. That's cool. The Nuka Zapper race. Ooh, I've got a Nuka Zapper. I've still got it. Okay. So, I need to just like... Is that what I need? Oh, I need to aim for this thing, right? Do I need to aim for this thing? Oh, and so it's token. You actually need to pay. Got it. Right. Got rid of a token. I need to... Oh! Well, that's just bad timing. Screw you. I just spent a token on this. You utter, utter get. Oh! I need to be just doing my own. Got it. Okay. Insert a token. And... And then this one is mine, right? Yeah, okay. And then just... Just go, 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 Okay, and then... Come on, 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 come on. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. All of that, all of that, all of that, all of that. Lovely. 3,600 this time, but again, not perfect. You know what that'll do? I've just gained a whole bunch of new K tickets. I'm not even sure what they do. Let's take that, come back later if I need to. So, into this big... Oh, hello. Okay. Something bad. Well, if you're going to fire flipping rockets at me as I try and come in the front door, you know what? I'm going to not come in the front door. I'm going to go in a different way. Here we go. From the top of a nearby tower. Just land on top of this here ice cream cone. And now we are well above the top of the castle. Just drop a nice grenade in on top of some of the ghouls that are guarding the area. Beautiful. Now, just keep heading up top. I'll figure out what the heck is... What even fired that at me? Legendary rotting over there. Just put a grenade on top of you. Nice. And hop over here. Oh, yeah, definitely... Oh, I didn't do that. Right, never mind. Now we're down on the ground. Oh, well. Come on, lads. One at a time. Preferably in the order in which you actually still have flipping arms. There we are, the legendary rotting has no longer any arms and gets me the lucky metal chest piece. Again, not a bad little bit of kit if you're going for that sort of a build. And just deeper and deeper into this here castle. There's the theatre. Where exactly are the tunnels that were mentioned to me then? Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm so sorry. The legendary I threw that grenade at ages ago has just been up here completely crippled. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. I'll put you out of your misery. There you are. What do you have on you? Penetrating machete? Yeah. Honestly, not spectacular, but all right. Aha. And if I follow the little track that the cars go round on, then what I get to down in the tunnels, he was saying explore the tunnels, right here, employee tunnels. Now, what exactly is down here he wanted me to see? What are you doing out of costume again? You know Nuka fires me. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the cloud makeup helps scare the invaders off. There's a new one in the park. No, no, I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. 
painting the goose. He's the one who's been painting the goose. I can do that too. Now, stop squirming. So he paints the goose to scare these guys off, but I suspect once again, I'm not going to be able to. Ooh, till she gets back with a cure. This is following up what was on the terminal. They're trying to find a cure for the ghouls, just like we read earlier. Okay, we'll fix this, I promise. Oh, I'm starting to feel sorry for Oswald and his ghoul friends now. And that is apparently completing searching the tunnels, because all I needed to do was find my way to him, and I've just come in the back way. Because I think if you come in, just go over here. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, where'd he go? Okay, he's just managed to escape me again. What a git. Add pump control system. That strikes me as useful. Ah, the story just after the war continues. It's been a few weeks since the bombs fell. We've been attacked for the first time. It wasn't even a big group. They weren't as well armed as we were. During the fight, I froze up when some grocery clerk charged Evan from behind. He was knocked to the ground and was about to have his head bashed in with one of those gumdrop decorations when Mitchell blew the clerk's brains out. Now Evan is pissed at me for not watching his back. The damn world's ended and I have to deal with a pissed off boyfriend. It's been a few months since the radiation storm started. 23 people have died so far, and I'm starting to wish I was one of them. My skin looks like a prune, at least in the places where it hasn't fallen off. A couple of the others seem to have stopped changing. They look terrible. Half my hair's fallen out, another clump just fell out while I was typing this. Evan's hair is gone entirely. I can barely stand to look at him. We had a huge fight this morning, and now he's moving his stuff out of here and up into the clock tower. I feel like a monster chasing him off, but maybe it's true. Maybe I am a monster. Maybe we all are. Ooh, it's nice to hear about the ghoulification happening. Some sort of alarm woke us up in the middle of the night. It looks like the water intake pipes are contaminated. I mean, the water is practically glowing. The alarm must have been some sort of automated failsafe to protect the park. We'd all heard the rumours about Nuka World having some sort of reactor in the bottling plant. God only knows what they put in that quantum stuff. The heck with it. It's been over a year now. If the radiation from the storms hasn't killed me yet, what's a little bit more? I'm going back to bed. Found use for the sprayers. We were attacked by a huge mob today. They almost made it to the castle this time. We we're trying to drive them back. I had an idea. We may be immune to the radiation now, but these people probably aren't. I ran to the tunnels and turned on the water park sprayers. In minutes, the attack was over. Man, we should have been doing this for years. When Evan heard it was me who figured it out, he kissed me until I couldn't see straight. I don't know if it means things are totally good between us again, but hell, I'll take it. Oh, bless. The affliction's getting worse. Sweeping through our people... It took Herman last month. He knew it was coming. We all did. Until Rachel can figure out some way of fixing this. I'm afraid we're all going to end up like that. We've survived radiation storms, starvation, attacks, and God knows what else for over 100 years now. How can we fight this? It's not fair. I don't know if I'm just angry. If this is a sign I've got the affliction. God help us all. The affliction, of course, being, yeah, the ferals. When they became ferals. And there's the tunnel key. Perfect. So I'm guessing I just found a back way in there. Because it feels like, ooh, it feels like I probably just shouldn't shouldn't go into this water at all, to be honest. Can I drain this, by the way? There was something about pumps in here. Turn off mist sprayers. Perfect. There we are. Well, I can't uh, drain this whole area, but I can turn off the mist sprayers. So now there'll be no rabs out in the wider area. Perfect. So, okay, there's nothing to stop you coming in the back way, because I imagine now that if I go through the tunnels, I'll take me back to those tunnels I found right back at the beginning. Uh, but I'll have to fight a fair few ghouls on the way as well. Oh no! You shut off my defenses! Oh wait, I'll just turn these back on! I'm guessing he did indeed literally just go and turn the defenses I just turned off straight back on again. Marvellous! You know what? I admire that. As far as I can tell, by the way, you can't actually ride the little cars that are doing the loops, because this is where they're supposed to stop. This is the- Ow! Flip! They do a lot of damage too, even in power armor, they do like, flip in. Ooh! Park metal dispenser! Yes! Okay! I've found my first medallion from this world. Nice. Okay, so, got my first medallion. Good, good, good. So, even though you cannot ride these darn things, you can still get the medallion from the machine. Okay, gotta find those medallion machines. Got it. And I've gotta say, yeah, if you're kind of worried about this area, if you're not gonna well stop to deal with very large swarms of ghouls, come in here with a jetpack, sticking up to the rooftops. That works very, very nicely. Also... Apparently, I think I may have just found another back door into the theatre as well. Excellent. You finally arrived. Quickly, the show is about to begin. This is no time to pitch your britches. We have a show to do. Now get to the stage. 
Okay, he's actually got dialogue waiting for me if I go into the bathroom there. Blimey. Okay, right, let's go over to the stage and see what the heck is going on here. So, this is indeed a big theatre. Lovely, there's Cappy and Bottle again. Excellent. Now, what do we need to do here? So, into the theatre we go. And you've got to... Okay, you're already dead. Fine. Yep, that's the name of the ghoul. Where is he? I'll admit, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Oh, hello there. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders. So I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. <laughs> when the bombs fell, everything changed. We changed. And somehow, I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legends. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Yeah, sure, go on then. Uh, no matter what you do, I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours. Are you actually planning to fight at this point? Yes, you are! Grenade over there in that case. And that will do a very good job. Now, how tough are you, by the way? I should be able to take out all of your friends. Though, so, ooh, yes, take out all the rest of them first, or at least disarm them. Oswald the Outrageous, he's got a fiery sword, I'm guessing. Let's just take out all his friends, so at the bare minimum he has to waste some time dealing with that. But now, if I permastun him, he can't bring them back. I'm very sorry, Oswald the Outrageous. I would actually have gladly spared you, but... Sorry, but I'm not going out that easily. Oh! Where'd you go? Okay. Well, it seems your asinine assault won't be dissuaded. Then I guess it's time for our final act. Join me on the roof of King Cola's castle, and we'll see an end to this production. Ooh, this is good. I like this. This is proper... Yeah, this is proper climactic right here. What was up on his little area, by the way? What was up here precisely? Ooh, nice little backstage area and everything. That's cool. Yes, here we are. A nice elevator through here. Oswald, like, I don't want to fight him. Like, I feel really bad for him. I feel sad about the situation he's found himself in, to be honest. I'd, if I could, I'd rather just let him be. Oh, I'm glad I explored, by the way. Nuka berry recipe. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'd rather actually... Kind of say, screw the raiders, you can keep this area. Like, I'm really sorry. What's happened to you is... Is horrible. And I'm, I'm really sorry about it. And I didn't mean to kill all your friends, really. It just sort of, you know, happened. Now, oh, actually, before I go up to the roof, is there anything I can do to get access to the, um... The lighting room, uh, where all the lighting rig is? Presumably I can... Aha! There's a hole right there. Perfect. Again, glad I brought a jetpack. Here we go. What can I do up here then? And oh my goodness, the Nuka K ticket roll times 850. I'm very glad I bothered to check that. And I got a protector model out of that lunchbox. Life is better and better. Right, that's all the good stuff here as far as I can see. Let's head up to the roof and deal with... Poor old Oswald the Outrageous, who I like. I, I really hope I can, like, come to peace with him and just say, you keep it. Let me go and find Rachel. I'll help her. I want to find Rachel and help deal with the cure. I don't want to murder this guy. You raiders are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. That's fine. I am happy to end this peacefully. No more bloodshed. I'm not your enemy. This can end without bloodshed. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you are the first outsider I've met that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered? while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor. Let me 
find the cure for you, please. I'm so happy to help you find this cure you're talking about. You've been here for 200 years? Why? We worked here as entertainers until the bombs fell. The radiation may have changed us, but we decided to make this place our home. Over time, the illness took the minds of my friends and those that we love. I am going to find a cure and fix my friends before someone like you comes along and exterminates us all. Let me help. Just let me help. No, I'm not done talking. It's not too late. and I don't want him to just leave. I want to give the place to him. I'm just going to check what it's too late means because sometimes it's a little bit vague what that means. Ghouls like your friends. It's too late for them. The radiation changed them forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick and yet you try to kill them anyway? I'd say that makes you the only monster around here. I never denied it for a second. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They, they've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. Okay, there is no cure. Go and help, she abandoned you. Yeah, what are you going to do if she never returns, though? What if she never returns? How long are you going to wait? I will stay here for as long as it takes. I've already watched 200 years pass. What makes you think I can't wait 200 more? Okay, I was hoping that might make some of the checks a little bit easier. She didn't abandon you. Go and help her. There is no cure. Hang on, I need to change into my best gear. I really wish I could just give the place to him or go and offer to help, but if the choice is between there's no cure or go help her, go help her. If there is a cure, the only way she'll find it is with your help. Maybe you're right. If Rachel is still out there, I'll find her and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you. And he has given me the Sword of Wonders. So it is penetrating and presumably has already been fitted with, yes, the electrified serrated blade. So this is basically, yeah, just a variant of the sword I've already got. I've already got General Child's Revenge, but this one has the benefit of a little bit of extra energy damage. And against enemies with tons of armor, it might have a use. And ooh, hello, Oswald's top hat increases wearer's movement speed by 10%. I really hope it can take a weave, because otherwise I'm not giving up 120 odd points of damage resistance for it. Sorry. Farewell. And off he goes. Ah, huh. very nice. And now that just means I need to assign a gang to the Kitty Kingdom. Because there's just no option to just let the ghouls keep it. Even though I think they'd actually be my preferred option. Although with Oswald's password that apparently we got, we can also go over to this head terminal. Hello. And the mist sprayers are already off. Okay, so that's how we turn them back on after I turn them off. There was a secondary control system up here. But finally his own set of logs. And apparently his full name was Oswald Oppenheimer. Good name. I can't sleep. We've had to board up another person today. That's over 10 in the past year alone. I'm trying to keep everyone organized and keep everyone's spirits up since Kenneth, Mitchell and Herman are gone. But there are some days I just don't even want to get out of bed. Some of us have even talking about putting the afflicted out of their misery. We put a stop to that talk pretty fast. We've been here a long, long time now. And these aren't just people I survived the war with. They're our new family. We've got to find a way to help them. There was a big attack today and Dean got hit by a stray bullet. The thought of losing another of us caused me to snap and suddenly it was as though energy was literally flowing from my body. Then Dean just shot up and gasped for air. I healed him. I have no idea how. After the attack it hit me. Was this some sort of mutation or was it real magic? I mean given the circumstances who could tell the difference? Even if we had a scientific explanation does that really make it less magical? Regardless of what I want to call it maybe I can use my powers to help the afflicted. 
It's been over a year since Rachel left, and still no word. At home, there's nobody left. No one but me and the afflicted, and that gang of raiders next door. At first, I was wishing that Rachel had stayed behind, but I kept coming to the conclusion that she did the right thing. No matter how much it hurt, she had to leave for the good of us all. Only problem is, I don't know how much longer I can hold the castle. The walls are crumbling, and I don't know how much longer I can hold them up. I miss you, Rachel. Okay, I feel a bit better now, now that I know he's gone to find Rachel, and apparently he desperately wanted to do that anyway. Now the question then is, as we head out of here, to the very peak of Kitty Castle, and by the way, I like having a great big castle, that's great. But yes, the big question, who gets the flipping town? Who gets this area? Problem is, I don't like any of the gangs. Okay, let's go for what is probably the least dangerous of the gangs, at least for now. Flagpole, let's hand it over to the operators. The pack are... Well, I don't know. The pack maybe I just don't like because they're engaging in dogfighting and that's really horrendous and cruel and horrific. The disciples are blatantly psychopaths and really we don't want to give them any more than the absolute bare minimum we can get away with. Yeah, let's give this to the operators. There we go. And the operator's flag now flies over this area. Kitty Kingdom secured. And that is the quest, a magical kingdom done, and a level up too. And that just leaves one thing here in Kitty Kingdom, which is with the benefit of my lovely jetpack, I need to find my way to the hidden cappies. Which interestingly aren't showing up on my compass, even though I can see them on the map. Look, there's... oh was there anyway. The quest marker when I stepped inside the theatre was suggesting I might want to start with Nuka Town USA. So let's head over to the Fizz Top Grill and then go down and to the right somewhere over here. Let's start there and see what we can do. So down here and to the right. Hang on a minute. Hang on a flipping minute. Right here. Step outside. Record the clue. That's one. And interestingly, you can actually see them if you're inside power armor. They're just faded in white. Unless you're wearing the right glasses, you can't see them. Got it. Okay. So, I know I can actually find these bastards. So, I've got to be somewhere around there. You can actually see where they are, but you can't see precisely. Wait a minute. The clock tower is in about the right position. If I had to bet money... I would say it's going to be somewhere in this clock tower I actually went up earlier. Hang on. Yes! Yes! Okay. Step out of the armour. Look at it with the glasses. And record the clue. Nice. Okay. And we got another one labelled as being inside the funhouse somewhere. And it's in one of the spinny rooms. I totally recognise that. That is in one of the spinning rooms. Right. I just need to go in reverse through this area and find my way. Now that I've stopped this room spinning, this should be much easier. And it looked like it was in one of the rooms to the left as I faced... Yes! Right there. There we are. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're getting it. That's Next clue. Things. Letters and that is sense. find the hidden cappies in Kitty Kingdom completed. Beautiful. I just want to clear out Kitty Kingdom so I want to do everything in Kitty Kingdom. What in the end was the actual point of the Ferris wheel I found right at the beginning? Because it's not where the medallion is and it wasn't one of the things I needed to ride to track down Oswald. So what's this thing for? Ooh, hello. Park medallion dispenser. Oh, it did have a part medallion. Okay, fine. It's uh, not always one per world. So, for example, you need to get one from Among the Stars, but another one from the Nuke Galaxy. So in the sci-fi world, there'll be two to collect as well. Got it. So even if this thing isn't working anymore, maybe I can switch it on. Hang about here. There are definitely... Oh, I thought those were controls, but no. Those are not controls. That's just lockers. This, however, is controls. Activate the ride, please. I said activate the ride, please. Well, you know what, game? Screw you. I'm not going to be denied this. I can do this without the ride actually flipping working. All right? Because all I need to do is go from thing to thing with a jetpack. We're going to get a nice view up top. All right? 
Admittedly, this bit's going to be a bit more on the difficult side. Right, up, 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 up. Is that good? Yep, just. Next one is also needs to go forward. Lovely. I think we're now past the most difficult bit of all. Now we just wait for the action points to come back. Good. And just one more. Up, 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 up. And that is, yep. That there has got to be the highest two in the part. Lovely. I was kind of hoping for a little special achievement for that, but never mind. And now we can see what's coming up in coming parts, ladies and gentlemen. I think you can see there, there's the actual new cola bottling plant itself. That over there will be the safari. Little island in the middle of the lake there, of course, is the little Wild West world and sci-fi world beyond it. There, beautiful. Oh, yes, and also... The mysterious thing. Mysterious thing beyond it in the distance. I do wish it was sunny, by the way. This would be much nicer if it was sunny. And here we are in our palace up on Fizz Top Mountain. Beautiful kitty kingdom reclaimed. Magnificent. And of course, the weather bloody clears up the moment I fast travel back over here. Of course, it bloody does. Got to say, did enjoy kitty kingdom. Well designed. Very, very nice indeed. And very glad to have the Sword of Wonders as well, in case I run into something that happens to have a whole ton of armour. That might be very, very useful. Though, if we decide, for example, to head into the galaxy area next, then General Chow's Revenge, that could be just the thing. That would be absolutely perfect. Not sure if the animatronics count as robots. Logically, they should do. So I do imagine... Oh, ca careful. Ca oh, never mind. You know what? I'll just flipping fly down. It'll be fine. Assuming I don't hit anyone. Hopefully not. Nope. Seems to be fine. So... Boss, will we be reaping any rewards from your new reign? Okay, this is starting to make sense. So the disciples are starting to be a bit annoyed at me because I gave the first territory away to the operators and they don't have one yet. So that's fine. It'll all be fair. We'll make sure everyone gets at least one. That'll be lovely. And also, I just remembered, level 56. Let's just quickly level up, shall we? And let's get rid of the spectre of chem addiction once and for all. Beautiful. Now, one thing I do definitely want to take a look at, now I've got a whole pile of the new cocade tickets, the new cocade itself that I've bypassed earlier. So let's go in here and see what we actually get for all of these tickets I'm collecting. And it turns out the new cocade is all blue and red. All right. Ooh, I like the lighting. Hello, can you tell me anything about this place? Every game in the new cocade still takes the original pre-war tokens. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets, which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. Please tell me that you sell the tokens. Of course I do. But that isn't the only way you can get them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the Nuka Cave. But they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the parks hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what. Just to officially welcome you to Nuka World, here's a token to get you started. So, he'll sell me tokens for caps, got it. And as they're only eight each, sure, why not? I'll pay 240 caps for a whole pile of them, lovely. Or a token dispenser will take pre-war money in return for tokens, got it. All right, we've got all sorts of games on every side, but let's have a look at the prize terminal, because I've already got a huge pile of tokens. Let's see what we've got here. Prize level one, so this is... Paddleball strings, souvenir plates. So many that's just junk items that happen to be Nuka branded. Though I wouldn't mind a paddleball string. Isn't that a new weapon? I think I saw that in the trailer. Hang on a minute here. There we are. I've put all my tickets into the machine for 2,546. I will take one paddleball string. Thank you. Yep. Ah, and it gets literally spat out of the mouth of the giant Cappy. So I've got a paddle ball string. I feel like that's not a full paddle thing. No, it's a type of ammo. Okay, so the paddle bat thing, whenever we get one of those, needs paddle ball strings as an ammo type. Okay, this is intriguing. Maybe we can get one of those. Let's go up to prize level two here. So again, a whole bunch of souvenir stuff. Again, nothing too special there. Prize level three. Souvenir teddy bears. Ah, all the different kinds of Nuka Cola. Got it. Prize level four gets us Nuka Cola rare varieties like Nuka Cola Victory or Nuka Cola Dark. And what exactly is prize level five? Oh, hard drugs. Got it. Fury's a drug. Operator left arm band. Presumably a legendary variant. I'm not sure. A variety of mini nukes. Some form of laser and some form of assault rifle. But it won't tell me what exactly. 
and I can't actually check. Okay, intriguing. So honestly, nothing desperately spectacular there, but let's have a look see at the games while we're passing by. So, Red Menace Wakakomi. Alright, very well. Let's just slot a token in here. And what do I use to whack the Cobby with? Ooh, maybe I should take the security bat on. This is actually quite tricky, because, like, when you swing in this game, you take a swing, but then, like, you actually pull the bat on back before you actually swing. I think the delay's a little bit less in third person. This might be easier in third person. Ah, but in third person, it's almost impossible to aim a melee weapon. Right. Problems. Alright, let's not do this game anymore because I'm actually kind of losing tokens on this. Let's find a game I'm better at. Okay. Hoop shot. Get basketball into hoop. Now, how am I supposed to be doing that exactly? Using... Oh! There's a commie whacker right here. Why do you get the feeling the commie whacker would make whacking the commies much easier? Yes, that certainly swings faster. Right, let's whack some commies more efficiently. Here we go. There we go. Now we're doing better. Not perfect, mind. It's still pretty tricky. Your best bet is just basically keep swinging and never stop. And then just basically redirect mid-swing to wherever there are commies. There we are. 1,100 that time. Still no web. How would you get 3,900? Blimey. Also, I'm going to keep the commie whacker in case I can actually modify that for later. Now, how do I do the basketball thing? Right. Insert a token. Yeah. Has this always been in the game where you would actually get an item and then hold X to throw it? I didn't know that was here. Okay, looks like you get 100 points for... I think I... Oh, oh, blimey. Okay, I think I've... Where's the... I've got it in my face. Right, bit higher. Bit higher. There we go, that's be Wait, hang on, that was only 100 points too? Okay, yes, this is quite tough, and I've learned a new thing about the controls of Fallout 4. Apparently, all along, there's been this mechanism where once you're holding something, you can hold X to, to throw it. Is, is that true? I had no flipping clue. Right, well, this one's got the lowest high score. Maybe do this one. Right, up here. Now, like, about that much X... There we go, in, next, and that much X, that's not good enough. Oh, this is quite tricky for the amount of time it gives you, especially as, like, you actually have to be holding X for enough time, so that much-ish, apparently that counts, that's, yeah, the, the game sort of says it counts, even if it blatantly shouldn't, never mind. Bloody hell, I only got 300. Okay, turns out I'm terrible at this game too, I'm hoping there'll be at least one game I'm not terrible at. And damn it, the flipping pinball machine's broken. I was kind of looking forward to a pinball machine. That's a shame, though. There is a hello back area. Got myself one free fusion core. Very good. And, ooh, hello. What's a star core? Also, ooh, weapons workbench. What can I do to the commie whacker? I can make a bladed commie whacker. Admittedly, even then, it's kind of terrible, but you know what? It would be better for killing commies with. Meanwhile, while I'm checking, sadly, the Thirst Zapper does not actually have any mods to it at all. It cannot be improved in any way. Very sad. Ooh, that's interesting. The reload animation for the flipping Thirst Zapper is you just pour water to it. Water that just you kind of pull out of the ether. That's nice. Okay, now this... This one I'm not so bad at because I've actually had some practice. And even better, the high score here is only 3,600. I've come close to that in the past. So, okay. That feels pretty good. Oh, yes. Beat the high score. Yes. Boom. That's got to be worth a lot of points if you beat the flipping high score. 234. Right. I like this game better. It's way easier to get a high score. And then the final game, One Shooting Range, where presumably I do indeed need to use the muzzled, hardened, piercing pipe auto rifle. Well, Bacon has never used a gun before, but let this be the first day. As it's a shooting range, it kind of feels all right, doesn't it? Yes, I think it does. Right, in goes one token. Lovely. And we got ourselves rabbits, and stars, and more rabbits, and more stars, 
And yeah, this gun makes this relatively simple, all things considered. And you can go down as well. And you can go down. And oh, okay, this is getting a little bit more complex at this point because there's few of them. Oh, also I need to reload. Right, the, 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 the simplicity of it went down a bit. And that, and that, and that, and you, and... The star, and you, and you hit behind the moon, you get, and you, and you, and you, and I'm going to do terribly, aren't I? Oh, wait, that was my score on the right? Okay, I just did slightly better than I was expecting there. I thought there was another round, I thought, like, my score was the other one. Okay! It's got 419 tickets for that. Okay, that is a very good way to get very easy tickets then. Converting, flipping coupons into tickets through the shooting gallery. Because I just did a really, really terrible job. And even then I got 400 uh, tickets off that. Beautiful. Let's just leave the gun on the side here. And I think that is all of the games. What was that star core thing, by the way? I don't know, but whatever it is, it just lives in miscellaneous and has zero weight, suggesting possibility it's a quest item. Including if I try and drop it... No! Quest item! Definitely a quest item, because I'm not allowed to drop it. Okay, why do you get the feeling that that will be somehow quite important in Galaxy Land, or whatever the sci-fi world is called, given, yes, Star Core and all of that business? Okay, fair enough. Claim my gang's haul from Kitty Kingdom, you say? Okay... The operators are going to give me stuff because I gave them Kitty Kingdom, is that it? And suddenly Kitty Kingdom is indeed full of the flipping operators. You lads better be really appreciative of what I've done here. I'm not sure I can do this sober. Nope, I don't get a word of thanks. Instead, I just get requests to provide booze. Well, let's see what the reward is anyway. Ooh. All right, some decent stuff here. So, fair bit of ammo, including the new type of ammo, the 7.62. Tiny bit of bottle cap, a high capacity... Ooh, oh, a handmade sniper rifle. Oh. Oh, is that what the base 7.62 is then? It's just a handmade rifle. Could well be. Ooh, wow. 60 tickets and 9 tokens. New cola and an orange. Have I seen an orange yet? I can't remember, but in case I haven't, yeah, hit points 100, action points 50, and rad resistance 25. Again, not so very bad. A quantum, obviously very, very good. A uh, victory... 840?! Bloody hell! Wow! Okay, um, 840 hit points. That's... That's almost weirdly too much. Right at the moment, I've got Endurance 8, I'm level 56, and I've only got 477 hit points maximum. So, blimey, okay. The victories are bloody good healing item. Blimey heck. And one final question I'm not actually sure of the answer of yet. These recipes I've been picking up, the Nuka Berry recipe and the Nuka Lixer recipe, I can't actually read those. If I go to inspect them, then all I get is just this look at the book. So, presumably I don't want to sell these. So the question is, who wants it? Possibly Sierra? Let's just quickly check in with her to see if she's interested in uh, buying those off me for a very good price. Here's the woman. Hello. Sierra. Careful out there. The park's a pretty dangerous place. No, she's got nothing to say yet, at least. Well, maybe we'll figure out what those recipes are for later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is more than enough for now. And indeed, as we have cleared out our first kingdom, explored the arcade, and picked up a whole bunch of recipes and bits and pieces, I think... Beginning of next time, I'm going to head outside of the park and have a little look-see at the, uh, the Herbology camp that's been brought up because that was just mentioned to me in passing and I know it's down here somewhere. What exactly are these guys actually wanting? Oh, this is even more interesting. Herbologist camp here, but the quest marker learn about the Herbologist is actually way over here. All right, feels like the Herbologist might actually control a decent bit of land over here. Not least as it feels like there's a massive great area over here that's all in the confines of the DLC. So, we'll head over and figure out exactly who the Herbologists are, what they want, and how much territory they control next time, ladies and gentlemen, as well as cracking into our next world. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout 4, Nuka World. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Haha, <laughs> I'm a genius at time. Oh, oh, okay, this escalated quickly. I'd, I'd like to fly your drone 
so good about a butterfly in a bucket? What does that tell you about the human condition? Are we the butterfly and is capitalism the bucket? What happens if you go right to the back in time? The very beginning of time. Oh, you literally just burn the universe.